Hey guys, I'm back. It's Joe here from Game Hunters and today I'm going to be showing you how to download a Nintendo 64 emulator on your mobile phone. So let's get straight into it. I've got a Samsung mobile phone and if you have a Samsung, this is going to be a lot easier for you to probably understand, but it's pretty really simple if you have an iPhone or any other mobile phone out there. So first of all, you're going to have to click on your Play Store, which is your which is your App Store if, if you have an iPhone. Um, so first of all, this is the Google Play Store. So we're going to search in the search browser up the top, N64 Emulator, Emulator. Going to search that, and it comes up with this list of emulators right here. Personally, I like the top one right here, Mega N64, this one right here. For me, it works the best. I think it runs really smoothly and everything. It's got over a million downloads. So surely that number tells you how good it would be. There's other ones you can use, but they might not be as simple. It might be a bit more complex to use and everything. It's up to your choice. But for me, I'm going to go use the Mega N64 emulator. So what we're going to have to do is click install. And then it comes up with all this. We click accept down the bottom there, the green button, and that's going to download. You can close this while it's downloading and it installs. It should uh, come up in your apps after it's done installing. Actually, it'll probably come right here. You can see it's res it is installing right there. All right, we're just going to wait for that installed just to be sure. Da, da, da. It is done. So we can close that off. Now it should come up right here. Bang, right there. Mega N64 has just been, a shortcut has been created on my home page. So we're not going to worry about that for now. That's installed. We don't have to worry about it. What we're going to have to do now is you can go on Google or an internet browser or your Google Chrome browser, anything. So I'm just going to use Google Chrome because I think that works best for me. So we've gone straight here onto Google. Uh, it's got an Aboriginal Google thing. I think that's because it's Australia Day today. And if you didn't know, I'm from Australia, so playing pretty much not doing anything at the moment. Just doing this video for you guys on Australia Day. Um, but anyways, so the now this is the part of your choice. What you're gonna have to do is pick any Nintendo 64 game of your choice. For example, I'm gonna do Super Mario 64. So I'm gonna search that into Google. And then after I wrote Super Mario 64, you're gonna have to write ROM afterward. Afterward, after it, after it. Um, because that's what it's called on your when you're using an emulator for your phone. So we're gonna type in Super Mario 64 ROM. I'm gonna click search. So this is what comes up. We've got a list of different sites where you can download it from. Personally, there's all these other sites, but to download the ROM from all these other sites, they have like, oh, you have to sign up and all this stuff. That's too much for me. I like to just get straight into it, download it, and that's all I want. So I'm using www.loveroms.com, this one right here. So this is the site. Love ROMs. Um, there it is, Super Mario 64. That's just the picture. So you're going to have to scroll down and just click the big green button that says download. So we click that. And that's going to download. Uh, yeah, replace file. It should come up. You scroll down and it should say it's downloading right there. And that's on 100%. That's finished. Download complete, as you can see. So we're going to get rid of that. Scroll back up. Just going to close that off. Damn ads. Anyways, we're going to close. Go back to our home menu. Now, going to go into your Mega N64 emulator that we downloaded not too long ago. Going to go into that app. It's going to come up with this. It's going to install. It should probably take about 10 seconds, which usually doesn't take too long. It's already on 50%. Just wait for that to finish. All right, that's done. Now...
it's going to come up with this. You can rate the app if you want, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. So right now, it's got all these settings, choose game, language, help, about, and more games. What we're going to do is just click choose game because we just downloaded the game. Now, you get, depending on what game you wanted to download when we chose the ROMs, you find that. So we're going to, because we downloaded it, we're going to click in the download folder. And it comes up with all the things we've downloaded. Now, I downloaded the Super Mario 64. So right here, this one, Super Mario 64. Going to open that. Click it. And it comes up with underneath the folder saying choose game Super Mario 64 in the zip folder. Now, all we have to do is click play. And then, because we haven't started the game yet, we're restarting right from the start. We're making a new game. We're going to click restart and click OK, and the game should play. It's me, Mario! There we are. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit. It's probably a bit loud. And there we are. we got the game. All your buttons and controls are all on the screen, so you tap them. You've got the R button, the Z button, the direction pad on your left bottom corner, the A and B button on your bottom right corner. And another little direction pad in the middle of the right side of the screen. And there, you can play the games. And there are your controls, all these ones here. I'm not going to actually play the game for you guys. It's just a tutorial video. But yeah, this is... Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hoped it helped. And... I will be sure to be uploading some more gameplay videos soon. I don't know what game... I have started uh, Super Mario, not Super Mario, Mario Kart 64, and I've uploaded that if you've already seen it already, but if you haven't, get onto it, it's really good, um, and yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video, thank you for watching, I hope it really helped, if you have any questions or anything, just be sure to leave a comment down the bottom of the YouTube comment section, and I guess I'll see you in the next video, thanks.